Welcome to Live Interactive English. I am Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane, and today we are on the last leaf, part two.、Mm -hmm. So in part one, yes, the beautiful <laughs> leaf you have there. Yes.、Um, We really one of the themes was talking about the will to live,、mm -hmm. right? So, what gives you the will to live? If you're feeling depressed, or you just don't feel like getting out of bed or going to work, what motivates you to keep going, to fight on? Well, lots of things give me the will to live. I love living. It, I love life. Okay. You know, like doing my hobbies. I love music. I love art, and then I love painting, and I love spending time with my family and friends. I always say, if I had a choice,、uh -huh. I want to live until I'm 150 years old. Wow. How about you? What gives you the will to live? Sushi. Huh? <laughs> Sushi. Sushi. Just sushi. I love sushi, and like sushi is the kind of thing. If I wasn't feeling motivated to get out of bed, you could order food, right? But you can't really order sushi because sushi needs to stay fresh.、Uh -huh. So I would. I mean, that would motivate me to get out of bed and like go to the sushi restaurant, and、uh -huh. it just makes me so happy to eat sushi. So if there's no sushi in the world, then you would lose your will to live. Pretty much. Yeah, that, would be, that would be it. Shane, seriously?、Uh, no, of course, my family, my friends, <laughs> my cats. You know, blah blah blah. All the important things, right? Yes. Okay, but it is very important to have that will to live and enjoy life. Yes, life is wonderful. It is. Okay, well, let's get into today's story. Today, today's wonderful story. That's right. That night there was a storm, and the wind blew hard against Johnsy's window. The next morning, she asked Sue to open the curtains, as she was sure all the ivy leaves would be gone. However, when she looked out the window, she saw one last leaf on the vine. Johnsy thought it would surely fall soon, and then she would die. However, it continued to hang on. Okay, so we have part two of the last leaf. So in part one, we have a few characters. We've got Sue, we've got Johnsy, we've got Bearman, right? And Johnsy is quite sick with pneumonia,、mm -hmm. and she doesn't really have the will to live. I know she lost her will to live, right? Right. Bearman was going. Well, we found out that Bearman was a failed painter,、mm -hmm. and when he heard about. Johnsy and her illness, and how she's just staring out of the window at the ivy.、Mm -hmm. He started to get lost in thought because maybe he has some great ideas、mm. for a painting,、maybe. right? Because he's always wanted to do something that's truly wonderful, right? Okay. okay well, let's get into today's story.、Okay. That night there was a storm, and the wind blew hard against Johnsy's window. Ooh, so we have this storm. word here, storm, storm. and that. Is a noun. So a storm basically is a really, really bad weather condition where you would usually get a lot of heavy rainfall、right. or maybe snow,、right. and it'll be really, really windy. So you have to be very careful. And then you know, if you're going out in the storm, you probably、yes. wouldn't want to do that.、Mm -hmm. And for example, the storm cleared and a rainbow appeared in the sky. Wow! So after every storm, you can expect a rainbow. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I didn't really feel like I ever experienced a storm until I moved to Taiwan because of our typhoon. Yeah, the wind and the rain is just crazy here. That's right. It could get really, really crazy when the typhoon hits Taiwan, right? Yeah, a lot of rain,、so、a lot、scary. of wind. So you have to be very careful. A lot of people don't want to go out during a storm. Okay, continuing. The next morning, she asked Sue to open the curtains,、mm -hmm. as she was sure all the ivy leaves would be gone <gasps> because it was windy and rainy. So probably all those ivy leaves would be gone. And then she mentioned that the last, when the last ivy leaves goes, that's when she would die. As soon as the last one drops, then she will,、hmm, mm. she will pass away. So we have a vocabulary word curtain. So a curtain is a piece of cloth. 
hung in a window or other opening to shut out the light or to cover something. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can say, the first thing I do in the morning is open the curtains to let some light in. Wow, mm. that's true. That's a really good idea, right? In the, yeah. Especially in the morning, you want to light up your house. Yeah, to get some sunlight in there, kind of wakes you up and gives you some energy. Exactly. Mm. Okay, well, however, when she looked out the window, she saw one last leaf on the vine. Wow. Chauncey thought it would surely fall soon, and then she would die. Wow. However, it continued to hang on. Okay, well, I guess then she's not going to die, right? Well, well I guess. Well, I'm quite surprised. She was waiting. She was waiting for the last one to go you know, to it's drop. It's really windy and it's like raining. Like for sure, it would probably. Wow. So it's like a miracle. Yeah, exactly. That this last leaf is hanging on. So maybe this is going to give her that will to live. Maybe. Mm. So that means she's probably going to survive, right? I From know. this. Pneumonia. Okay, I don't know. Well, let's take a break now. We'll find out what happens after the break. All right, let's go. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny. John Z 认为当最后一片叶子落下时，那就是他离开人世的时候了。那那天晚上呢，有一场暴风雨，风猛烈的吹。那么隔天早上 ，John Z 他似乎很肯定窗外所有常春藤的叶子呢都会消失。他就请 Sue 拉开窗帘，没想到啊，常春藤上竟然还有最后一片叶子。John Z 认为那片叶子一定很快就会掉了，然后呢，他就会死去。那么那片叶子呢，后来还是继续撑住了。我们来看单字 storm。storm 表示暴风雨或是风暴。那么 curtain 或是 curtain， 它是指窗帘啊，或者是那种舞台的布幕。我们刚刚说撑住，这个文中用到片语动词 hang on。我们来学它的用法。我们进入文法时间。好，我们来学 hang on 的不同意思。hang 在这边的动词三态是 hang、hung。Hung. 那么 hang on 当不及物用的话，它有几个常见的意思。第一种呢，它可以指抓住、紧握。那你后面可以接 to 加名词，像 He hung on to the rope with both hands. 他用双手抓紧那条绳子。那补充一下 ，hang on 还可以引申去表达撑住、坚持住，就好像你抓住什么把它抓紧一样。所以你可以鼓励人家说 ，Hang on, you can do it. 撑住啊，你做得到的。好，那在下一个。意思是表达持续发生或者是持续不消，可能是某个疾病它一直持续不消这样子。像 Jess has a cold that has hung on for two weeks. Jess 的感冒已经持续两周了。那下一种可以用 hang on 去表达，等等，稍等一下。例如 hang on, let me get my phone. 等等，我拿个手机好吗？好，那我们接着课文中。The last ivy leaf gave Johnsy hope. She apologized to Sue for making her worry, and she started to eat again. Little by little, she recovered, and the leaf stayed on the vine the entire time. Not long after, Sue came to Johnsy with bad news. Behrman had died from pneumonia after staying out in the cold rain. Then she told her to take a closer look at the last ivy leaf on the vine. The leaf wasn't real; it was painted on the wall. Behrman had painted it during the night. As his last act on Earth, Behrman had finally painted something truly wonderful. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. So before the break, we were looking at John Z, right? And John Z was staring out the window after she opened, right? The curtains were opened,、yeah. and then she was looking out to wait for the last ivy leaf to fall because she was thinking, okay, when the last ivy leaf falls, that she is going to die, right? And you would expect after a storm that there would be no more leaves left on the tree, right? Exactly. So after the curtains were opened and And then she saw that no, the last one was still there. So lucky! You open up your curtains and you can see trees and stuff. I mean, you're in a big city like Ta Taipei.、Mm -hmm. You open up your curtains. What do you see? Just my neighbor's home. Right? You see like apartment buildings and just lots of cement and concrete. I don't see any trees. <laughs> okay. All right. That's not the point. Let's continue. The last ivy leaf gave Johnsy hope. That's, that's right. That's the point, right?、Mm -hmm. She apologized. To sue for making her worry, and she started to eat again. Oh, that's great! 
Oh my goodness, it looks like we're gonna have a happy ending. She's gonna get better, right? I Starting think so. Eat. All right, so she apologized mm -hmm. to Sue. So if you apologize, that just means to say sorry. Mm -hmm. So if you say sorry for something, you are apologizing. Exactly. So for example, you can say, he apologized to the woman for cutting in line. Mm -hmm. So rude. So why did she apologize to Sue? Because Sue was really, really worried, right? Yeah, she made her worry. Mm -hmm. When she lost her will to live, and Sue was just thinking, oh no, what can I do to help her? Yeah, mm. that would be very scary and sad. Exactly, for your family and friends. And for people who care about you. Right. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> little by little, she recovered. Yes. And the leaf stayed on the vine the entire time. Well, so just, <gasps> what, it's never gonna fall off? Well, we don't know. So she recovered. Yeah. Recover is a verb. Recover basically just means to get better from mm -hmm. something. If you're right. sick and after you recover, that means you don't have any more symptoms anymore and you are not Back sick anymore. Exactly, you're healthy again. So for example, Lily recovered from a serious illness last year and that is great news. Mm -hmm. So that means Lily is not feeling any kind of symptoms. She's healthy again. I love it when stories have happy endings. Let's Me continue. Too. Not long after, Sue came to Johnsy with bad news. What? Well, bad news. Oh, bad news. Oh. Berman had died from pneumonia after staying out in the cold rain. Oh no! That's so sad. Berman We're so also worried. got pneumonia. We're so worried that Jonesy is going to die and then poor Berman ends up dying. Mm -hmm. Then she told her to take a closer look at the last ivy leaf on the vine. Okay. okay, why? Take a closer look at something. That means looking at something very, very carefully right. and looking at it from a short distance, okay. right? Yeah. Okay, so what did she see? The leaf wasn't real. It was painted on the wall. Behrman had painted it during the night as his last act on Earth. Behrman had finally painted something truly wonderful. <sighs> Well, his last act on Earth, this means the last thing that he did on Earth because he died, basically, from painting that ivy leaf on the wall mm -hmm. just to make John Z better. But then he died because of it, because he got pneumonia. Exactly, because maybe he stayed out, really. It was really, it was, really it was cold, cold and rainy. Right? Aw, now it's kind of sad. That's so awful. But he did paint something truly wonderful, right? Wow. So it's actually quite touching, but it's also really sad. Yeah, exactly. But we do have a what do you think question okay. for this story, though. If you were Behrman, would you have done as he did, painting the leaf for John Z? Would you? I mean, would of you do that? Of course, but you know, if I, because Behrman always wanted to do something that's truly yeah. wonderful. And what he did actually gave John Z hope and mm. life. And that is definitely something amazing and wonderful. But if I were Behrman, I don't think I would have painted the leaf for John Z because there's a storm, it's cold, it's rainy, because you might catch pneumonia if you're out there. You're and right. And he did, and then he died. So uh, maybe he could have been more creative. Tough. He could have like maybe snuck into the house and painted it on the window. Mm, but it wouldn't look so real though, right? No, but I don't want to die. <laughs> you're right, you're right. But he did paint something truly wonderful, right? He's kind of a hero. And he kind of saved John Z's life. Okay, so I guess in a way it is a happy ending. It's kind of a bittersweet ending. Bittersweet, definitely. Bittersweet, so it's a little bit sad. That's a good way a to put happy. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the story. I wasn't expecting that to happen at the end. Yeah, me neither. Okay. But thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 好，那最后一片常春藤叶子给了 John Z 希望，他就向 Sue 道歉，不好意思让身边的人这么担心。那他也开始吃东西了，渐渐康复。而那一片叶子一直都在藤上。我们来看单字 apologize， 它是道歉的意思。那么后面呢，你可以接 to somebody 来表达向某人道歉，或者是接 for something 去表达为了某件事情道歉。那么再看到 recover， 它是动词，表示康复、痊愈。
故事写到说，不久后 ，Sue 带着坏消息来找 John Z。那么楼下邻居 Bearman， 他在寒冷的雨中待在外面，然后死于肺炎。原来啊，那个藤蔓上面最后一片长春藤叶子，其实是 Bearman 在夜里把它画上去的。那这是 Bearman 在世上做的最后一件事，他终于画出真正美好的东西了。老师们聊到 Bearman， 他确实做了一件很美好、很棒的事。那这时候用到 bittersweet。来描述这个结局，就是把苦跟甜合在一起变这个形容词，叫做苦乐参半的，苦中带甜的。老师还有用到 definitely， 还有 truly 来表达确实的。那这两个副词都很常用。这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看这个重点是主词加动词 after 动词 ing 的句型。好，那么 after 当连接词，它可以表达在什么之后，它所引导的子句跟主要子句两个主词相同的话，那么 after。After 后面这个主词就可以省略喽，然后我们把动词改成现在分词 v i n g。那么以句型来看，如果原本句型是主词加动词 ，after 主词加动词，当你看到前后主词一样的话，就可以简化成主词加动词 after 动词 i n g。例如 ，Eric moved out after he graduated from college， 那就可以简化成 Eric moved out。After graduating from college, Eric 大学毕业后就搬出去了。好，以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。That night there was a storm, and the wind blew hard against Johnsy's window. The next morning, she asked Sue to open the curtains as she was sure all the ivy leaves would be gone. However, when she looked out the window, she saw one last leaf on the vine. Johnsy thought it would surely fall soon, and then she would die. However, it continued to hang on. The last ivy leaf gave Johnsy hope. She apologized to Sue for making her worry, and she started to eat again. Little by little, she recovered, and the leaf stayed on the vine the entire time. Not long after, Sue came to Johnsy with bad news. Bearman had died from pneumonia after staying out in the cold rain. Then she told her to take a closer look at the last ivy leaf on the vine. The leaf wasn't real; it was painted on the wall. Bearman had painted it during the night. As his last act on earth, Bearman had finally painted something truly wonderful. Hi, I'm Steven. Today we're going to see the Tiger Brothers in the Shinzu Zoo. Tigers are amazing but dangerous animals. In the Shinzu Zoo, you can see tigers up closely. Come on, don't be afraid. Bengal tigers are members of the cat family. There are few Bengal tigers in the world now. Every tiger has a different orange and black pattern on their coat. This unique pattern helps them hide and hunt. Bengal tigers mainly feed on large animals such as deer and wild pigs. They usually hunt for food alone at night. Bengal tigers are good swimmers and can swim up to six kilometers. They will cool off in the water if the weather is too hot. I could stay here and watch them all day. See you next time.